Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about Oracle Analytics Auto Insight feature, and more specifically about a recent enhancement that makes it a lot more flexible and a lot more powerful. So let me start by creating a dataset from scratch here on my Oracle Analytics Cloud environment. So I'm going to drop a file in my system here, but this feature works with any self-service dataset within the system. As I proceed to saving the dataset in the system, Oracle Analytics automatically kicks off several AI processes that introspect the data and automatically score the most impertinent insights to be presented to me from this data. The light bulb on the top right of my canvas turns yellow after about a minute of time, indicating that Oracle Analytics has identified a gallery of pertinent insights on this data. And this all happened automatically without me having to give any indication to the system. So I can see different visas here. I can click on the plus sign to bring them directly on my canvas. There are many visas here that I can pick and choose from as Oracle Analytics has gone through all the columns and identified the most relevant column and the most pertinent visualization that could be of business value for me. As I'm done clicking and adding to my canvas, I close the panel here and my canvas here is ready for consumption with meaningful and powerful visualization and insights that are just as interactive as if I had created them myself. Now, this is of great value to me, but I would love if the same panel of visas could be built automatically on a different set of columns that I pick from my dataset. I would like to have Oracle Analytics AI rank the top insights based on a set of columns that I have decided, not based on the entire data set like it does by default. Well, that's exactly what I can do with the Insight Settings button that you can see here on the top right. This presents me with a selection of different columns that the system came up with, in this case, profit and discount. Maybe I'm interested in sales and not discount. I have up to three metrics that I can select here, but I can leave it set to only two or one or even zero metric and pick from other objects here. In this case, time attribute was found out. I could pick another time, but I, in this case, I'd rather keep order date. Then the attributes and dimensional objects, depending on their cardinality, so how many distinct value they hold. So there's small cardinality and medium cardinality. I can select up to five small cardinality and up to two medium cardinalities. So I can do my own pick and choose here among which column in the data set I'm interested to have the AI calculate the most interesting insight. This runs for a few seconds typically and ranks a new set of most interesting insights, most pertinent insights, but this time only using the columns that I have overridden in that settings. And I, I can see here in the tooltip exactly which columns have participated into this, which was my selection. So here again, I have a list of valuable, meaningful insights showing contrasted data using these columns. And I can simply click on the plus and pile up into my existing canvas, knowing that this gallery of insights only focuses on the column that I have asked. So these are all pretty powerful and meaningful insights using sometime advanced techniques and highly formatted. So I can build my own focused canvas with powerful visualizations within seconds like you're seeing. And once in my canvas, these visas are just as if I had built them myself. The interactiveness remains. I can use a visa from the first panel to interact with the entire canvas. There is no distinction on how it was built. All the calculations that support these visas have also made it in my canvas. So I can learn from it, reuse it, edit it, change it. It's all, it's all native. So of course, I can also reiterate that process as many times as I like and go through by selecting new objects, either metrics or dimensions. In this case, let me just select a time dimension. Let me remove most of the attributes. So let's keep only one attribute, product subcategory or city. Let's say product subcategory. I could select just up as one column and I would get some results. So now I have an even more focused set of insights, which I can also select from drag and drop in my canvas and complement my canvas very easily. So within a few seconds here, we are building a powerful canvas adjusted to exactly the columns that we're interested with, with the most interesting insights that the system could find in, on top of it. Thanks for watching that video.